Welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby. Welcome, and uh, let me get my, my intro and the, my bio in the intro out of the way first. <coughs> me. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. So let me do that over, because I realize I missed one little thing. I'm actually a number one best-selling author, <laughs> speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I do these talks every day called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's talk is number 404. Yes, 404. I don't know what the title was. And I just noticed they've changed Facebook Live. I'm seeing different things here. Oh, this is Facebook Live. But you may be watching this on YouTube or listening to it on iTunes. And I'll get to that later on. So right now, it's a live Facebook Live broadcast. And so when you're on watching me live, you can interact, type comments in, I can respond. If it's the replay, I can respond in the comments afterwards. And if it's on YouTube, I can do the same there. And if it's the podcast, you're just going to listen. <laughs> so many shops, options. Anyway, I'll explain those later on where you can find them. So today's topic is number 404. And the theme, thanks to a conversation I had with a friend of mine earlier today, is on the topic of blind faith. And I'm applying it in the area of relationship. Because blind faith, when it comes to relationship, is an amazingly simplified approach and usually doesn't work. I should say, blind faith doesn't get you where you want to go because of two problems. One, it's blind. And two, you're having faith in something you don't really believe in. <laughs> so, okay, I'm done. Good night, I'll see you tomorrow. No, and let me explain this one and break it down a bit more for you because having studied this for a while now, I've gotten pretty good at understanding what does and doesn't work. And let me just say that the blind faith, blind faith path, although it can be very entertaining, it can be very time contensive, and it can be very easy. None of which applies to getting results that you really want. And what I mean by blind faith, for example, is the, here we go again, I've talked about these before, the dating apps, websites, and um, dating opportunities that show up so randomly and easily, you just like get out there and date and get it, and get it easily. You, if you want to just sleep around or just have a lot of first dates, that's easy, that is blind faith. But if you're looking for a real relationship, and I did put the word relationship in the title for a reason, blind faith, blind faith may not be your best choice. So let me just speak more to the problem, in quotes, problem side first, and then I'll talk about some solutions that may assist you and get where you want to go. And I got a little meta conversation going on as well, so I'll drop that in as well when I realize that I've got pieces to add. If you haven't watched my broadcast before, by the way, why not? I've done 400 of these. But, <laughs> but in reality, if you haven't watched my broadcast before, a lot of times what comes through is downloading as I'm speaking, so I don't always have clear vision of what I'm talking about. So Bonnie, you met someone recently and you're so in love. That can be wonderful, but it might be problematic depending on what happens. So I'll give you some tips along the way that may assist you, just so you have that as your resource. Um, and I know you to know that you've done enough work that you're not just walking in blindly. Because the thing about blind faith for a lot of people is, they have not done much self-investigation. They have not necessarily done any work, any transformational work to change the wiring they have inside that leads them where they end up going every time. That's the challenge of blind faith, is that it largely speaks to a autopilot that we run to get where we want to go. Wow, this is interesting. I'm watching, I'm watching my Facebook Live screen do some strange things which I haven't seen before. This is a new update I guess that must have done recently like today because I'm seeing things I've not seen before. Um, that's very strange. I'm just seeing things on the screen that I've never seen before. Okay, enough of that. That's that's my perspective on what's going on. Actually, I'll use that. <laughs> Blind faith is, yes, Bunny, you've done a lot of work. I know you have. I know you long enough to know that for sure. Um, Blind faith, for example, is that the challenge of Blind faith, Blind faith also is that things change. When you, really, when you live in blind faith, it oftentimes seems to be a rut or a cow path or a well-used path that doesn't actually change when you change and when life changes. Like Facebook Live changed and I didn't realize some of the updates had happened and I missed something a couple of days ago, which I'm now fixing. That's nothing to do with relationship, but it's about this blind faith piece where I've just, because I would, I would ascribe, ascribe is the right word, blind faith to autopilot because Blind faith means not taking any conscious action. It is assumptive, and it's not really doing any due diligence, self-investigation, um, hands-on 
control or doing anything that basically would change the course of where you're going, which is autopilot. And that autopilot is a means that will, um, put this in the most effective way. Whoops, what happened there? Let me go back again. Hello, hello, what happened? <laughs> the screen just flipped. Will it go back the other way? Okay, excuse me a second once I adjust this camera, because that wasn't, I'm, I am rotating my phone. You can't turn your phone during recording. <laughs> Apparently I'm upside down according to my camera. Hopefully I'm not by your camera. Okay, that's strange. Um, am I upside down to you? Because I can't tell from my, from my side I'm upside down. So let me know in the comments if I am upside down or not. This is weird. Okay, leave it like there for a second. This is strange. Okay, my phone just did a, a thing. So it does it back again. All right. So can you let me know in the comments, by the way, if I'm upside down or not, because on my, feet, my camera, <laughs> I look like I'm hanging from the ceiling, which looks very strange. So I'm going to continue talking. Well, it's very confusing to me um, whilst I go through this. So, and again, if you do get a chance, please comment. Please let me, let me know in the comments if I'm upside. I'm just seeing who's, this is weird looking sideways. Okay, continuing along with this topic, camera is not working in cooperation, so that's the way it is. Autopilot, which is a part of what I call blind faith, is where you basically do the same thing again and again. Um, yes, you're upside down, but we can hear you. Yes, I appreciate that. Let me try, let me try to put it the other way around. Well, let me do that. Oh, that's going weird. Okay, let's see if that's working or not. No, that didn't work either. So basically my camera's in opposition. Oh, that's what's going on. Yeah, I know what's going on now, okay. Can I change it from here? Let me see. <laughs> oh well, you know what, I'm leaving the vertical because apparently that's the way it's going to work now because this is now upright. Okay, so now I've got the tall narrow version of me. Is that better? Yeah, okay, let me speak to that. All right, so continuing on, attempting to continue on. This, this is the hysterical fun of playing with Facebook Live when it's, see, they updated Facebook Live and now it's doing weird things. <sighs> Autopilot, I was there, is where basically, um, well, it's actually what I would call, using Albert Einstein's definition um, of insanity, is doing the same thing again and again, expecting a different result. The autopilot is you just don't expect a different result. If you're running around thinking that the same, you're going to change things by doing the same thing, you really are not working logically or effectively. And the conversation regarding um, that blind faith piece that gets in the way is that we think that by trusting somehow our power, some fairy godmother, some thing called Cupid, will get what we want without doing the effort. Doesn't work that way. And like Bonnie was sharing, she's done a lot of work. And the reality is that if you have done the work internally to change your perspective of life, of love, of experience, then you're likely you're gonna draw a different relationship. I mean, my work with clients is really personal growth oriented, and that was in quotes, for those who are not watching, you can't see the screen. It's really a teaching that is about um, transformational perspective on how you live your life. And if you work with a coach or you go to seminars, retreats, read books, that sort of thing, your perspective on life is transforming because you're seeing things through a different lens. And that isn't blind faith anymore. That's taking ownership and responsibility for your own life and your own choices. And if you do that, we take responsibility for your own life, your own choices, you're gonna choose different quality of relationships. That's a, that's a given in the results, and that is the opposite of blind faith. So to sort of spin it into, there was another piece I was going in, hang on, it was a meta piece I was talking about. There was a piece in there, it may come back. Anyway, to continue on right now. Um, the blind faith choice is one where we think that if that's the, the next, well, this is the other one. This is the other part of blind faith. Let me put it this way. For many people out there, maybe not you, but people I, I know, certainly, maybe people you know, blind faith operates where they'll keep going on new dates and new dates and new dates and new dates, hoping it will change. It never does. But the blind faith continues to drive them into that repeat cycle, that repeat pattern, that repeat um, behavior, looking for a change to happen. It doesn't. So it may, like, the person may look different. You may use different application, different website, a different methodology to meet the person, but you'll always end up in the same place. 
And if you've had that experience, you know what I mean, and I've been there. And I've been in a lot of personal growth along the way, but I was not resolving one of my major patterns that kept me in a place of, um, well, I was out of alignment with my true self. I wasn't, I, was, I had to have a paradigm shift, and that's what happened for me back in 2007, which shifted my perspective and understanding, so my changed my relationship patterns as well. Taking the reins of your own life, taking the um, ownership of your choices is a huge part of this work because we tend to be, when you're in blind faith, be a victim of circumstance and you're not actually in control or in charge of your choices because you're being um, routinely, I can say this, you're being routinely guided the same experience you've had before because the autopilot is running in circles. It really is doing the same thing again and again where you're not having a different choice. So when you are not doing the work to transform your experience, transform your perspective, transform your own inner guidance system, you're not gonna change your outer, outer experience either. So the idea of saying that, you know, you just keep dating somebody else and you're dating someone new, they'll be different from the last one, you may have experienced if you did that for a while, where each relationship looked different on the outside, was the same on the inside. And truthfully, until you make that change, until you change your um, I was using the word wiring, but it really is changing changing the lens, taking the hmm, here we go. Taking the blinders off your sunglasses so you can see more clearly that you'll make choices that are more aligned to where you really want to go. And in a way, that's where I come in in my work, but you can do this yourself. And as was mentioned earlier, you've done a lot of work. Whatever path you choose, whatever, whatever guidance you choose, make that choice to grow, make that choice to evolve, make that choice to raise your standards, and make that choice to not blindly trust. Yes, you can trust in a higher power, trust in faith, but not blindly. Trust with awareness, trust with intention, trust with alignment to your true values. That would be you know, my best advice in this context. I'd also trust in working with a good coach. That was the main source I was looking for. Thank you, I'm gonna drop in. I was having a conversation this morning with a prospective client, somebody who had not met me before and we just found each other through different uh, connections. And we were talking and she said, one of the things that really touched me and reminded me, she said that in a way that the idea of having a discovery session, which is what she had with me this morning, this afternoon, was that she got to know me like we were doing a dance. It was like that preview, get to know somebody before to know if there was a connection, if there was a valid value, if there was a, um, an alignment of values, which we found there was. So we're probably gonna to work together in a couple of months. And I recognized and realized for myself, when I have discovery sessions with clients, which is what I do, if you wanna work with me, we do that first, is that there's a, um, there's an initial conversation called a discovery session, which is really, a, in a way, a test drive. It's also more of a getting to know each other time. So we get to know if we want to work together because the reality is it's not just people want to work with me. I've really got to be clear I want to work with them. Catherine, you're very welcome. Thanks, you're welcome. Thank you as well for watching. Um, so it's both when you're looking for romance and when you're looking for support with any coaches or guidance or systems, even with events, that actually I've discovered this myself. Having been around different trainings and seminars and teachings, I've also been very aware when I go to certain events, I can feel intuitively where it lines up or not, and I'll leave if it doesn't line up. And that's again, that intimacy, that connection, that trusting that guidance system inside. So that's a powerful place to be. So if that appeals to you and you wanna find out more, there's three things I wanted to say. One is if, if you're looking for more support in the area of love and relationships, I do offer a discovery session as I mentioned, and it is a chance to get to know each other before there's any commitment on the, either side. For that, you can go to my website, which is barrysilvey.com, click on the Let's Chat button on the left-hand side of the navigation menu. Second thing is these broadcasts are on, or these um, live talks will, it, will be on, or are already on, excuse me, my business page on Facebook, which is barrysilvey.author, and this one will go up there shortly. But all my previous ones, all 403, plus this one, will go on there. And on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, playlist is Messages from the Masculine. 
you're looking for that. And speaking of that, as I mentioned earlier as well, I'm now doing a podcast, which is basically these broadcasts stripped of the video put onto a podcast on iTunes. So you can listen to them in sequence when you're driving. If you're taking a long drive, you can listen to four or five of my, my talks, if that works for you. Some of the ladies have been wanting my voice in their ear, so this is one way of doing it. And if you go on iTunes and look for Messages for the Masculine, you'll find my podcast, which has the first 25 or 30-ish of my broadcasts from the old days when I first started a year and a half ago, so long ago. Um, and I'm going to be updating those more and more as I go through. So I think that's pretty much what I want to say. There was, oh, third piece, homework. <laughs> I give homework every day. So your homework is if you have been dating from a place of blind faith, if you have been doing relationships from a place of blind faith, reconsider your choices. If that's been true for you, take the time after watching this, if you wish, just to journal and write about, consider, meditate on how it works for you. What have been the things that happened in your past relationships that didn't work for you? You'll probably find there's going to be some common threads or some repeat patterns or some duplications of behavior that go, that happened again, I don't want that happening anymore. If that's happened for you and you're finding a repeat cycle happening, I seriously invite you to take me up on my offer for a discovery session. You don't have to, but I'm offering that to you because the reality is if you don't change it, it won't change you. That sounded pretty poetic. So that's it. Um, I, again, my apologies, or I should say my phone decided to do some weird things flipping the image, so I may look weird to you for a while. Um, I've got a feeling when I look at the replays, it'll be sideways instead of upright, who knows? But hopefully the content and the value of what was said landed for you, regardless of how I looked, which is one reason why the podcast works. Um, so I think that's it. Thank you for watching, as always. Thanks for being with me. I'll be back again tomorrow with number 405. I don't know yet know what that'll be. Topics show up when they do. Um, you got your homework. You have some opportunities, some invitations. And once again, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Bye.